So this is my current PC gaming setup, and while I'm proud of what I've built over the past year or so, there is definitely a lot of room for improvement. I'm gonna go ahead and cable manage the entire setup and give it a way cleaner look. Another huge change I'm gonna do is actually swap desk with my Xbox setup because that desk just looks too good. I also got the super clean 3D pixel panel that you guys will see put in the setup. I'm even gonna buy an entire new monitor for the setup, so you guys just stay tuned. So yeah, let's build my dream setup. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and look for a 240 hertz monitor because I think that's gonna be the best option for us. And of course it's Cyber Monday, so we got to get ourselves a good deal i found the scepter one that i really think could work because it looks really really clean and i think matching 27 inch curve with the one that i have currently right now would be a really good option all right y'all go ahead and place this order and then i'll see y'all when the monitor actually arrives all right you guys the new monitor is here but step one on the agenda is going to be actually go get a power strip so i can plug everything in with a new setup because actually having a power strip would make this a lot cleaner and i only have like three available spots so it'd make make it a lot better Mm. Alright you guys, it's also perfect timing because something else just came in the mail, and that is our huge monitor. This thing is going to be clean, man. 240 hertz. Woo. So we have a lot of work to do. So what I'm going to start by doing is just start literally taking everything off of this main desk and just putting it other places. That way I can actually move the desks over. So yeah, I'll just start with unplugging everything and then we'll start moving it from there. Alrighty, as you can see, we have everything obviously except for the monitors off, and then I guess we can just take this thing off real quick. I have to be careful because I do not want to damage the monitors when I'm taking them off of the stands, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just safely take these two off, and then we're gonna be good. Oh. These monitor stands were super hefty, so when I was unscrewing them, it was actually a little bit dangerous. I didn't want to actually mess up with the monitor at all. I may or may not have forgot to release the tension before unscrewing the monitors, but it's okay because both of the screens are safe, and let's just continue with the transformation. Now that that's all said and done, of course we gotta hit everything with a good old wipe down. I'm kind of realizing halfway through I didn't really fully think how this swap was gonna work because this is not enough space to just move that desk over there, so. A bunch of the stuff is gonna be getting moved to the hall temporarily because I will not have enough space to work. Bruh, look at this dog. Get this out of here. Ugh. All right, guys, so here's my strategy. I got to get everything off of this as well. So a bunch of this stuff's going to be getting also moved in the hallway. And then I'll rotate this desk like over this way. And then when I move this this way, I'll take this chair outside and then push it in that way. Kind of like a little circular rotation. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do like a freaking speed montage of throwing stuff on there. We'll go ahead and deal with this LED strip later, but what we want to do now is actually start moving the desk. Real quick, though, I'm going to go ahead and remove this LED strip off of the back of this one. This, this strip has always been terrible for me, so I'm glad I can finally throw it in the trash can. Oh, God. Oh. Guys, if I'm being honest, this Johnny's going to have to temporarily exit the premise because there's just no way it's going to be able to sneak past it. So let's move this stuff farther back and then get ready for the desk to go into the hallway. All right, you guys, I found the method to actually get the desk out. It's a little sus, but uh, it works, so. That should be good for the amount that we needed in the hallway. I can't take it the whole way out, otherwise I have to move this whole thing back in. Building a whole collection of stuff out there. Look at that. All right, y'all, I had to change shirts. It was getting a little hot in here, but uh, desk is in. Next up, we gotta get this bad boy onto this wall and of course back into the room. Uh, then we'll fix the leg. I guess I'll finish moving that and just keep doing that same process till it gets on the actual wall we want it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the power strip that I bought and that's simply because I wanted to use this one for the new setup because it actually has the USB ports and it looks, you know, cooler. But I still needed one, so I went with black on this setup because I knew we were gonna be having the black desk. We could either use the Travis Scott box or we could use the piece of turf that's like right there. I've been trying to find something to use this for. Maybe we could cover up those cables. I was thinking maybe we could like 
stand it up here, kind of like a turf wall. That does not look good. It covers up the cables the best, but like, it just does not look good. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave it for now and then we'll, we'll change it later. Having the black desk here actually makes it a lot better because the cables you literally like can barely see, like especially on here. It makes me a little worried for this one, but uh, we're gonna be able to figure it out. So now we gotta go grab our chair. That's literally all the way out here. The chair's gonna be in small mode. That way it can just go straight into the setup, but we don't have to worry about it getting in the way. And now let's put our focus onto the main setup. I think the very first step that we're gonna take is actually just to cable manage all of the stuff. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a vacuum. So I move the lamp and I'm gonna move the heater over here. So that way we only have the cables that we actually need for the computer on the actual power strip. I'm gonna go ahead and use this small little clear zip tie for the lamp. Now I think the best thing to do is actually gonna to be to start putting the monitors on. Boom. All right, you guys, so when we take a look at the box, of course, we have our user manual, and then we have a Phillips head and then some screws, the HDMI cable, the power for this thing. We got the stand, which we will not be needing. And this should actually be what we use to power it. And of course, we have that big beauty. So let's get the plastic off of this thing. We are going to be needing the mounting screws. As you guys can see, we have this thing perfectly mounted. I just had to increase the tension a little bit so I could actually hold it. And now we have to move on to our second monitor. All right, so of course we're gonna grab our new mount. I guess not new, but ugh. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, right in the middle of me screwing this on, I kind of had a realization where I don't really think I wanna put this one vertical, to be honest. Don't get me wrong, a 27 inch curved vertical monitor would look really clean, but I also don't really like using vertical monitors because it's kind of hard to navigate. For me personally, I really like to watch YouTube or have something on in the background while I'm playing a video game and having a vertical monitor, it's kind of hard because it's only in that like top section of the screen. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and try mounting it that way and then we're just gonna see what it looks like and see if I wanna keep it. All right, so I tested it vertical and I'm not gonna lie, I think this looks a lot cleaner because I have this my other screen that I can use. And of course, remember my PC is gonna be going on this strip. But yeah, I like this way a lot better. Just put these LED strips on. All right, you guys, LEDs are on and monitors are on. So next step is gonna be getting the PC and all the peripherals back onto the desk. I wanna go ahead and explain our sponsorship for today's video from Devo. So this is the Pixel 64. It's a smart clock that displays pixel art animations and SNS real-time counters. So upon first unboxing, you're gonna see a very clean and well-cut package. And of course, with that beautiful screen, I pronounced it Pixel 64, but I think it is Pixu 64. Either one would probably work. This might be one of the best things to add to your setup because it's so versatile and it can display quite literally any image. Whatever you set your mind to, you could put on the screen. The inside of the box has a super high quality feel. And with what it actually includes, of course, we're gonna have the USB to power it we got the box to match with that then of course under the box we're going to be pulling out the user manual and this is what you're going to be needing for setting it up then of course the very high quality 64 by 64 pixel screen the panel only pairs with 2.4 gigahertz internet so make sure to keep that in mind the setup process is so simple you just plug in the USB C here and then make sure to plug that into the wall then once this configure screen is popped up make sure to download the app for either ios or android to start having access to all the images all right you guys and as you can see we got it paired and we got these cool animations going we got this little alien dude what's up man there are literally thousands of different pixel arts made by people who own them and you can add them to your own library and favor different ones that you want to be displayed this is the perfect christmas gift for if you have any gamers in your family and i think this is really really cool and it would go with any single gaming setup and if you don't want to choose any of the art animations from other creators then you could just literally make it yourself they have a built-in frame by frame workshop where you can literally create any image that you want like this this is what this is me to you guys this is me to you and of course we had to pop out with your boy that is actually so clean bro so yeah thank you so much to diva and uh, let's keep going on with the transformation. And I think it's best probably just end up putting it right there and then that way it can still be pretty much part of the setup. I'll see you guys back in a couple minutes when I'm done connecting all the cables and then we'll just go on from there. All right, you guys, everything is plugged in except for, of course, our mic that's still sitting over there. Don't worry, I'm gonna cable manage later. 
All right, you guys, boom, we have the mic and the boom arm officially installed onto the desk. I believe we have everything plugged in, so it should be working properly once we turn it on, but we gotta address this issue, like, come on, guys. We will use my heater, which was previously over here, and we will put it back to cover up cables. Luckily, we have an open spot, as you can see, so we can still heat up the room. As you can see, the heater can effectively eliminate about half of the, vis well, like a quarter of the visible cables. So I pretty much cable wrapped what I could, but one thing I have to point out is, yeah, this is a standing desk, so I really can't like, especially with this cable, I can't mount this up because if I want to actually move the desk up at all, it'll just like rip it out of the socket and then it won't work. That's probably the best I'm going to be able to get. Next step, let's work on under the desk. So I'm going to go ahead and go grab some tape and then that way we can start slapping them on the back. So we got a little bit of tape left over from the last time I used this desk, but it's all good because we have some extra more clear mailing tape that we're going to, if I can open it, that we're going to be using to uh, get some of these cables up on top. Alrighty y'all, and boom, I did the best I could for under the desk, and I think honestly it looks pretty clean. One thing we can't forget is, of course, our little Alexa. This one will be going straight to the wall. Now for these two big cables right here, what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is at least for this one, I'm gonna pick it up and then kind of like connect it this way, and I could probably do that for the HDMI as well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys though, this is coming together very, very well. And as long as you can't see the cables under it, then I do think that's a W. And then those two little cables back there, I think would be best solved with a little bit of a cable sleeve. And boom, there you go, looks way better. Now, to be honest, I think the final thing I wanna worry about is just this little section over here. Because the front looks good, that's gonna be the best it can get. And then under, I think looks pretty good. We could always reintroduce the lamp and then maybe add Travis Scott. Push that there, put that behind there. Move that back under there. We're just gonna keep on taking these cables and shoving them behind things that we can. I will try adding the Travis Scott though. I think I'll go ahead and just angle it this way. That like right there. Shift that like right there. So that way from ground level, it doesn't look like there's too much there. And yeah, guys, I think this is like looking really, really good, especially with this thing in the corner. Ooh, it looks so clean. And of course we still got a decent mess in here. So let's just go ahead and clean this up in three, two, one. And as you can see, we fully cleaned the room and boys, it is looking clean. While this is loading up, man, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the amount of support I've been getting recently. We are so close to 10K. We're about to get 10K before Christmas. It couldn't have been possible without you guys, so I thank you guys so, so, so much. And boys, the first turn on is looking clean. Look at the whole setup. I'm not gonna lie, I finally got something to match the Quadcast thread, bro. And we can't forget, of course, background. Oh, and of course, y'all know we still gotta be running it on the XBZ. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, the room is looking so clean clean with these new desk switches. All right, you guys, we have fully transformed both of our setups. I'm gonna go ahead and do the final reveal now. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you are, comment down below one through 10, how cool you think the transformation was. And without any further ado, let's just see these setups.